let's go through the accessories that come with the Husqvarna Viking Designer Jade 35. Now when they come to you, they'll be kind of all stored in this little compartment right here. So just kind of untape them and then I'm going to show you where you can store them. Since this is more like the cover of the soy machine that can house your foot control and power cord when you're transporting it. But when you're sewing, you can slide these little guys to the side and I say guys because there's one back here too. So this will slide out to the side and there's a little pocket back here and a pocket here. So I keep the ones I use all the time up front and the ones I use less back behind the machine. So let me show you what all comes with it including feet and tools and then I'll kind of put them in as we talk about each one of them. There are a ton of feet bobbins, screwdrivers, all those fun things. And what's in this pink little package? That is your USB stick for your embroidery module. It's really short. You might want to tie a little ribbon through the little hole. Then that way you can kind of hold on to it. But that's where all your embroidery designs are. So until we get to the embroidery part of this, these videos, I'm going to just put it into the back. And also too, this is your embroidery foot. So you can use that to do embroidery. It actually can also be used for doing free motion in, in free motion and quilting as well. The other thing I'm going to put in the back is the uh, buttonhole foot. This is where you can actually put a button right here in the back. It will measure out the size of the button and just do buttonhole after buttonhole. Love that feature. And a few more things. Okay, seam guide. So this is great if you want to make multiple rows of straight stitches or decorative stitches. We do need to clean this machine on a regular basis. So your brush, screwdriver, but this is actually the screwdriver we're going to use the most. This one here is short, so these two screws can take be taken out and we can clean underneath the throat plate. Steam ripper, just take that, switch it around. The cap becomes the handle, so it's long enough to use. And yes, steam rippers are always in need, so one always comes with the machines. Uh, needles, a nice little selection of needles and and in a variety of sizes from stretch, jeans, embroidery, and some universal needles. We have a whole bunch of needles um, videos on our website as well, so you can check those out and know which needles to be using at any given time. The foot that comes on the machine is your standard foot and it's lettered A. Your B foot, B as in boy, this is going to be for all of our decorative stitches because it's got a little thicker cutout behind the foot and then that way those thicker stitches will not get hung up as it's being sewn. Foot D is a blind hem foot, so that is specially made to do a blind hem. We also have two buttonhole feet. We had the long white one that I put already back here, but this is a manual version and it has where you can make a much longer buttonhole than the one which can do them over and over. So if you're repairing a buttonhole or need to make a longer one, foot C is the one you're going to reach for. Two more feet that come included with this machine. The J foot is an overlock foot. So if you're stitching over the edge, there's a little pin in there that will support the stitch and make it so if you don't have a serger, that's the perfect stitch and foot to use. Your machine's actually going to tell you when to use these feet. So as I show you where that is, it will always guide you so you always have the right foot on for the stitch. Now, this one is a zipper foot, letter E, and it will actually have two sides, a left side and a right side, depending on what side of the zipper you're going down. We'll also do a video on the zipper foot. A few other things that come in with your accessories. You will have a total of five bobbins. There's one inside the machine that's empty when you open it up and then, then four separate ones. These bobbins are specific for this machine, so don't be using any bobbins from previous machines that aren't this exact size. If you do have a machine that looks like the bobbins are similar, just jump, double check with your Husqvarna Viking store to make sure that they are exactly the same because you don't want to have the wrong size of bobbin in this machine. So uh, We also have spool caps, so as we pick our spools, we'll put in the size of a spool cap onto the spool right up here to help kind of hold it on. So I'll kind of leave those out depending on what spool I actually put on. And these are some kind of um, spool ends. You can slide this on and then that helps make sure that they don't spin, especially when it's more standing straight up, which I know you can't see, but we can flip that straight up. And we can kind of slide. That's not something I use a lot, so I'm going to put those in the very back. We do have another vertical spool pin that can be placed right up here. 
on one of those openings. It's actually right here. And then if you're using two spools, like for a twin needle, that's where your second spool can actually go. And we have an extra screw. I'll need to double check what that one's for. And it could be for the embroidery foot. Don't quote me on that. But there's an extra screw in here for some reason. And we have a thread net. They do put these in, but if you have a spool of thread that's kind of, it's like slipping off the spool and puddling, you can put that around it and it will kind of tame it. I usually don't, I think I use quality threads, so I don't usually use these, which is nice. The last little one is going to look like a little sticker here. So this is a non-stick sticker. You put it on the underneath of any metal foot and it will slide, make the foot glide, I should say, over leather or vinyl or any of those sticky fabrics that we're using now, almost like raincoat fabric. And then you will have a nice even stitch. It will just slide across it without any problem. So until you need these, just let them kind of hang out down in the bottom. And that is all the accessories. You can just close that up and everything will stay together, especially if you're going maybe to a class. Always make sure you have your accessories with you.